Welcome to the 2022 IU School of Liberal Arts Celebration of Scholarship. My name is Dakota Bruton. I am a student ambassador for the School of Liberal Arts. I am a senior graduating in May, studying communication studies and creative writing. Hi everybody, I'm Lauren Moss. I'm a junior here at the lovely school at IUPUI and I am a double major in history and political science and I am also a student ambassador. We are excited and honored to be the MCs for this evening's celebration, particularly because 2022 marks the 50th anniversary for the IU School of Liberal Arts. We have two quick points of housekeeping as we begin tonight's event in our new format. First, please make sure your microphone is muted. And second, so that we know who has been able to join this evening, if you are able, please have your participant ID set to reflect your name rather than your email or phone number. If not, don't worry about it, and thank you so much. The IU School of Liberal Arts is celebrating its 50th anniversary this year, and at various events throughout the year, we have been sharing fun facts from the history of the IU School of Liberal Arts, something we have been calling Did You Knows? These little tidbits are a fun way for us to invite faculty and friends to share memories or reflections of their time on campus and stories of the school. As we transition between segments this evening, you will notice screens like this one. Did you know? How many scholarships are provided each year? The School of Liberal Arts has 149 scholarship opportunities with 224 recipients. Did you know that? You know now. Celebrating 149 scholarships and 224 recipients is a big part of what tonight's event is all about. We have many fun things to share this evening. In a moment, the Dean will offer some opening remarks. We will hear students sharing what liberal arts has meant to them. Students and alumni will share the impact of study abroad programs. And with our 50th anniversary, we will share an alumni success story from a recent graduate, learning about the importance of internship opportunities. Other students will share the benefits of their service learning opportunities, including those in the Maserati Scholarship Program with their civic engagement. We have a fun surprise for you at the end of our event, so stay tuned to hear from our students. Now, I would like to introduce to you our Dean, Tammy Idol. Dr. Idol, an Indiana University alumna herself, joined us in 2021 from Montana State University, where she was also an administrator and professor of sociology. Please join me in welcoming Dean Tammy Idol. Thank you, Dakota and Lauren. Good evening. I am Tammy Idol, your Dean of the IU School of Liberal Arts at IUPUI. Welcome to our celebration of scholarship. This is the season of proud moments for students, families, friends, faculty, staff, retirees, and alumni. There is truly nothing more satisfying than honoring our students for their hard work, dedication, and perseverance. Tonight, many of our students will be honored with the school's most prestigious named scholarships and awards that are funded by the remarkable generosity of our donors. The IU School of Liberal Arts will bestow over $390,000 in scholarships and awards, making it possible for our students to take advantage of all the opportunities available to them in the School of Liberal Arts. Congratulations to every recipient and an enormous thanks to our donors and to all who care about and support student success in the School of Liberal Arts. Tonight, we celebrate together for the first time since 2019. While the intervening period brought many challenges, we are grateful for new gifts to the IU School of Liberal Arts, including the Bruce and Davina Beal Study Abroad Scholarship, the Robert Aponte Memorial Scholarship in Latino Studies at IUPUI, the Malcolm Moran Study Abroad Scholarship, the Tom and Chico Chambers Study Abroad Scholarship, the Larry Ryan Internship Scholarship, CVR's Barrier Busting Scholarship, and the Matthew Crenshaw Africana Studies Scholarship. It is amazing that even in such uncertain times, 
Our school was able to grow the amount of support that we can provide for our students and their academic journeys. This would not have been possible without you. Beyond scholarships and study abroad programs, your support allows our school to expand research opportunities, department and faculty resources, and community engagement endeavors for all of our students, enriching the quality and the depth of the liberal arts education that we can provide. As a professor of sociology and the dean of the IU School of Liberal Arts, I believe in the social, economic, and personal impact of the arts, humanities, and social sciences in our communities, families, workplaces, and personal lives. If you are joining us tonight, it is likely that you believe in the enduring impact of the liberal arts in our society as well. I would like to share with you now a video message prepared by our own students in which they explain what it is that the liberal arts have meant to them and their journeys. No matter what you go into in the liberal arts, you are preparing to organize your thoughts, to communicate your thoughts, to form ideas. And it, it doesn't matter what you go into. In life and in, in careers, those are really valuable tools. And those, those are things that you, you have to call upon, whether or not you're, you know, an astrophysicist or, you know, an English teacher. Liberal arts means to me um, a space where you can think critically about things about the world and um, have time to respond to other people who think differently than you and be able to broaden your perspective on a lot of different areas and even learn about things you didn't know even existed. Studying liberal arts makes us more um, developed uh, members of society and really helps us sort of be able to approach our uh, current issues, no matter what they may be, with a more critical eye. A lot of different schools or degrees uh, require to sit down and read textbooks and just look at it and through those lenses. But the School of Liberal Arts has really encouraged students to look outside of the, just those textbooks and go out into the world and really develop their own knowledge, develop their own questions, and um, pursue pursue just their own passions that are not taught within the textbooks. Take. Uh you know, a mythology course, or take sign language, or take, uh, you know, pretty much anything that you can think of, acting, uh, speech, uh, political science, uh, it just feels like the whole world opens up to you. How, how communication studies and theater and, and even psychology, even though it may not necessarily be under the umbrella of liberal arts, I think they all kind of really apply to liberal arts because liberal arts is about people. It's about connections, relationships, no matter what sect of liberal arts you're really studying, it's, it's all about people in society and in civilization itself. So absolutely, I feel like communication studies and, and theater and, and even psychology really falls under that. To me, liberal arts is the study of people. It's the study of how we've developed and what we've learned and how we put things together and what we make of it. It's art and math and, and literature. It's everything that makes us human. Without people, without understanding what connection really means, interaction, being able to have the capacity to just listen and have empathy and be present, I think that is something that would be missing. And if we're missing those things, then we're missing liberal arts. And how could we function without liberal arts? We can't. She's right. What would we do without liberal arts? And thank you so much to the students and Dean Idle who shared the value of a liberal arts education. We have a new scholarship recipient, Monica Simmons, who will also share why liberal arts and receiving a scholarship are so important. Hello, my name is Monica Simmons, and I am a junior studying English with a concentration in professional and public writing. I applied to IEPY to study English due to my great passion for the written word and all that can be done through it with the liberal arts. 
my studies here have continued to, uh, to grow this passion and to make me more excited about continuing to see what opportunities this opens up for me, uh, for my future, and for my impact on the world. I'm very honored to receive the Frank N. and Patricia L. Owing Scholarship in English this year. This scholarship is having a very tangible effect on my educational opportunities. Um, th thanks to it supporting my financial needs with tuition, I am more able to invest in my living situation, allowing me to live near campus downtown instead of commuting from farther away from my family. Especially um, after the last few years and the way that the pandemic has altered our, our world and our living situations, it is so valuable to me to be able to live near to campus and to have that proximity to be able to invest more deeply into campus opportunities. An example of an opportunity this is opening up for me is um, now that my tuition is being covered, I have more time and energy to be able to invest into the opportunity of being a managing editor with Genesis, which is IEPY student literary and art magazine. The financial support um, of this scholarship enables me to, to invest in my future dreams of being an editor who will support other writers the experience and the skills learned through this opportunity are a great example of the doors that uh, your support is opening for me. I want to give my heartfelt thanks to the donors who have made this opportunity possible so by supporting me, my education, my living situation, and therefore my future. Thank you. Did you know? Which school at IUPUI awards the most study abroad scholarships? The School of Liberal Arts has 27 study abroad and travel funds for students. Did you know that? You know now. Thank you so much for your story and promising future, Monica. Speaking of promising futures, study abroad opportunities are an amazing way to add life-changing memories and experiences to your academic journey. With so many study abroad programs, the IU School of Liberal Arts is leaving its mark around the globe. Let's hear from some young alumni and students about their wonderful experiences abroad and what that meant for their education and careers. Hi, my name is Eddie Vaughn and I'm coming to you from Erfurt, Germany, where I'm pursuing my master's degree in public policy at the Billy Brandt School here at the University of Erfurt. Um, and a big part of why I chose to come here in the first place was because of my study abroad experience at IEPY. I had the opportunity while I was at IEPY to pursue two study abroads, one during the summer in China and a full year study abroad at a university here in Germany. And part of the reason I could pursue two of these study abroad programs was because of the support I got through scholarship programs from liberal arts. And that allowed me not to have to worry about my financials and to really focus on making the most of those experiences. And especially looking at, back at my German study abroad, that was a big push for me to then continue my studies here in Germany because I realized that there were a lot of really good opportunities over here. And that drove me to pursue programs in the country and what led me eventually to this public policy program here in the University of Air Force. So I hope that many of you who are also receiving scholarships, scholarships, especially those who are going to be going on study abroad here in the future, will be able to also take some valuable um, experiences back from them just as I have. And I hope that when my program now is done, that I will hopefully be able to continue the work that I've done in research, especially looking at international affairs, and take the lessons I've learned from study abroad and my other programs and apply those things to my work in the future. My name is Ayobami Gunyomi, and I graduated in 2017 from IUPUI School of Liberal Arts with a double major in French and Global and International Studies. Um, while a student of IUPUI, I received three study abroad scholarships, the Mary F. Chrysler Scholarship, the Margaret Cook Foreign Scholarship, as well as the Beaudry Summer Scholarship Fund for French and Francophone Studies. Through the scholarships I received to fund my study abroad in my junior year at IUPUI, I studied abroad in Aix-en-Provence, France, um, which for me was a very wonderful, profound and immersive experience. I was able to learn about the French culture, um, just adding more to all I've learned in class through my wonderful um, 
to the wonderful professors in the French department at IUPUI. Today, I live in Washington, D.C. and work for a USCID contractor where I manage a portfolio of USAID and World Bank funded projects in West Africa. Through my study abroad experience where I was able to learn French, I've been able to build a foundation of what right now has been instrumental to my career. And as I thrive in my career, I think of my experience at IUPUI and the scholarships I've received and how that has helped me go far in my current career path. Thank you so much, IUPUI. Thank you, School of Liberal Arts, and thank you to the wonderful scholarship donors. Hello, my name is Lauren White, and I am a double major in anthropology and Spanish, planning to graduate in 2023. And with the help of the Sutton Scholars International Scholarship, I am traveling to Madrid this fall to immerse myself in the Spanish language and culture and to expand my cultural understanding and the vast difference of human experience around the world. I plan to then come back and continue my studies here in Indiana and hopefully go on to do immigration aid. Our thanks go out to Eddie, Ayo, and Lauren for sharing their study abroad experiences. In addition to acquiring new experiences and broadening your cultural perspectives, traveling as a student can offer some unique opportunities to expand your career horizons and develop professional contacts. Let's hear from another liberal arts star alum and one of our 50th anniversary alumni success stories, Sarah Barr, about how she used her travels and internships to create the foundation for a bright new career. My study abroad experience in London after my sophomore year, which really, you know, started my love of theater because before that I was not a theater person. I didn't do plays in high school. I was like never into the performing arts at all. Um, but I saw a bunch of shows that summer. I saw Phantom of the Opera for the first time twice. Um, I was a groundling at the Globe Theater for five pounds. So just seeing all those shows really cemented my love of the arts because I'd always been an arts journalist, but knowing that I wanted to go into journalism, all the opportunities of having um, basically all the major publications in the city within walking distance. I had the chance to intern for Indianapolis Monthly and the Indianapolis Star and just basically having all the media organizations that I would want to one day work for in the same city was really appealing. I, I grew up reading the Indianapolis Star, so for a long time I would just read the sports section <laughs> before eventually branching out. But just kind of knowing that that was somewhere that I would want to work someday and having grown up reading it, and my parents were both you know, very influential in fostering um, my love of writing and reading. I mean, journalists a lot of times I think we take it for granted that you're given an assignment and you just go into that situation and you execute this like brilliant story. But covering the Rose Bowl in Pasadena in 2018, which was the first uh, double overtime Rose Bowl in the history of that game, and was also the first football game that I'd ever covered. So that was definitely a memorable experience. So I was in the press box alongside journalists from ESPN, um, you know, the Washington Post, all these other big publications. And it was great because it was a week that I ended up writing something like 10 stories. But just having that experience, especially in journalism, was really invaluable. And I'm so glad I had the um, opportunity to have that experience in undergrad. My career path has been a series of internships. So it was Indianapolis Monthly and then the Polium Fellowship at the Indy Star. Um, and then a New York Times internship. And then after I finished my master's degree, the first thing I did was a year-long culture fellowship with the New York Times. So during the end of my first internship with the New York Times, um, I pitched a freelance story about seeing 30 shows in 10 weeks on a student budget, which was kind of just crazy enough that I was like, I wonder if the theater editor would be interested in a story about this, and he was. So my dream job would eventually to be on staff in the culture department at the New York Times. Right now, I'm basically freelancing for them and doing the same thing that I did when I was a fellow and also writing for other desks, but eventually long term, I would love to be on staff. Happy 50th anniversary, liberal arts. What a fantastic success story. All of us at the IU School of Liberal Arts send Sarah a huge congratulations. In the time since recording this video, Sarah actually informed us that she has indeed been hired full-time at the New York Times. She achieved the dream that she started pursuing at IUPUI. Many thanks to her for sharing such an inspirational story. Whether it's New York, London, or here in Indy, an internship can be a crucial launching point for a young career. Scholarships, awards, and philanthropic resources in the IU School of Liberal Arts help students achieve their dreams. 
Not only do monetary awards facilitate academic progress and reward hard work, but they often alleviate financial burdens and give students the ability to pursue important volunteer and internship opportunities. By no means is Sarah the only success story. In fact, let's check in with a current student, Holly Ward, to hear how her internship has played a role in her success. In the summer of 2021, I was, had the honor of being chosen as a summer intern for the Treasurer of State's office in the Indiana State House. My assignment was to help their general counsel do legislative research into a brand new program that had just been passed. This program helped families with kids with special needs get the funds that they need to give their child an individualized education. And this opportunity gave me the chance to see what a day-to-day -day life was like for a lawyer in the office, and ultimately it fueled my passion to go to law school in the fall. Without donors like you, programs and opportunities like this wouldn't be a possibility. So thank you for your dedication to our school and to our students. Did you know that many of our loyal donors are faculty, staff, and retirees? Many give of their time and talents for students, but also support the school financially. Did you know that? You know now. Wow, I knew our faculty and staff do so much for student success in the school, and now I know they support us financially too. Thanks to our faculty, staff, and retirees for doing so much. Also, thank you, Holly, for sharing the details of your exciting work with the State House. I know several of our departments and programs have ongoing internship opportunities that help students get real-world experience that prepares them for their first job out of college. The IU School of Liberal Arts first dean, Dr. Joseph Taylor, envisioned IUPUI as an urban university in service to the city of Indianapolis and its many constituents. From the very beginning, IUPUI and the School of Liberal Arts have held civic engagement and learning service as central pillars of their missions. In this regard, one of the school's marquee programs is the Maseraquia Scholars Program, named for Samuel Maseraquia, a representative of the Steelworkers Union in Indiana. Mr. Maseraquia understood that if working people are to have a voice in our society, they need to stay informed, organize themselves, and participate actively in the democratic process. The goal of the Sam Maseraquia Scholars Program is to give tomorrow's community leaders the skills they need to build viable democratic institutions and contribute to social and economic justice. Coming to IUPUI was the best decision that I had ever made in my, in my life because I had access to this Maseraquia program. It's a scholarship program, a social justice, community organizing, labor organizing program within IEPOI School of Liberal Arts. You know, I remember going into like a Maseraquia class for the first time and during that semester, like I met uh, people um, who are out in Indianapolis actually doing movement building, uh, whether that's like, you know, faith-based groups, you know, labor unions, uh, community organizing, senior citizen organizing. Like I just met so many people that, you know, wanted to, to teach me and to help me and to like foster that like passion within me to like make a change. This is a chance for them to really stand up in their community and use their voice and learn how. A lot of times we see a lot of events and actions and you see large gatherings of people around social justice issues. What happened to those people? Where did they go? And how do you use that energy to, to just like move something bigger instead of it just being about a moment? In my fall organizing class, our class project was a, a student organization, Students for Fair Wages. And this organization we used to participate in the Million Student March that was a national event. We showed up and did a silent protest with signs when a Na Nasser Payer was being instated. The Maseraquia Scholarship Program paid for my education uh, for two years after I got the scholarship. Um, and, it, and in turn, they allowed me to complete a social justice style internship in the city. And my internship was with the American Friends Service Committee and we fought for the rights of Muslims and Palestinians. And you know, for me, like when you want to talk about like what uh, the institutions of IUPUI allowed me to explore diversity, like the Maseraquia program allowed me to organize in my community. You know, like I was able 
to kind of truly like apply concepts of diversity uh, that we learn in uh, the undergraduate system. I was provided with the opportunity to explore diversity both within campus and outside of campus because of the various different things I was able to get involved in at IUPUI. We appreciate the civic engagement that the Maserati scholars have done and still are doing, along with many of our alumni and other students. We will hear from two of our current students, Xiri Lopez and Rosa Hernandez, as they share their stories of their service opportunities. But before them, we actually have a recent alum, Natasha Langford, joining us from Oregon, who will hear <clears throat> about her service learning experience through our sign language program. Hi, thank you so much for having me tonight. It's great to join you here. Although I've had some really incredible experiences in my career, one of which is highlighted and felt like the pinnacle of my career this past fall at Comic-Con to interpret for William Shatner, some of the most impactful experiences that I've had that shaped my career and me as an ASL interpreter have really been those that were through deaf mentors. And that happened during my practicum and service learning experience there at IUPUI. I know that through my academic studies and through my um, socialization and engagement with the community um, here in Indianapolis, I was able to learn about the rich deaf culture and also to be invited every single day into a space that is so private and so personal um, is such an honor. And so it's been such a great, a great um, honor to be here to share this with you and to let you know just how great this program is and the rich experience that the students receive. Wow, what a great story. Thank you, Natasha. I feel like we just had our Oscars moment that they did with the movie Coda. I'm glad one of our languages in the school is American Sign Language and that we also get to learn about their culture too. Now, I'd like to introduce to you Aziri Lopez, who will share a unique service project that she is currently doing. I was able to have the opportunity to be a paralegal at the Neighborhood Christian Legal Clinic through the paralegal program offered at the School of Liberal Arts. The clinic is a nonprofit organization that believes everyone should have access to justice regardless of income, so we provide free legal services to those that can't afford them. Not only has this opportunity allowed me to help others, but has helped me realize my passion for helping people and being involved in the community. So thank you so much to the School of Liberal Arts, the professors and donors who help students like me get these opportunities throughout our time at IUPUI. Thank you, Xiri. What great work you do with the neighborhood clinics helping low-income Hoosiers. Up next is Rosa Hernandez, sharing her story of mentoring high school students on how to prepare themselves for job interviews. I was given the opportunity to participate in a civic engagement project that sent students from my principles of interviewing class to go out and engage with students from a local high school and provide them with a workshop and presentation on how to thrive and success in an interview and the interview processes. I specifically focused on a group of students who were focusing on the interviewing processes in the culinary arts. This project opened up a lot of opportunities for me. It also helped me understand that I thoroughly enjoy going out into the community and teaching young students about the importance of understanding what makes up the interview processes and how to do well during them. All of this would not be possible without the donors who give the donations to our School of Liberal Arts. Did you know that donor generosity goes to the school far beyond scholarships? Donors give to support faculty positions, research, space renovations, recruitment and retention, and so much more. Did you know that? You know now. Many of our donors are on our call today, and we want to thank you. We couldn't do it without you. While many of our supporters are alumni, faculty, staff, and retirees, we also have businesses that want to help make a difference. The IU School of Liberal Arts has a mission to provide each student with a comprehensive, dynamic education that rises to the challenges of our day. An education that enriches and broadens the moral and intellectual horizons of our graduates and prepares them to be leaders of tomorrow. Without the dedication, passion, and generosity of partners like you, things like enhancing civic engagement, fostering career development, providing cultural experiences, and encouraging superlative academic performance would not be possible. 
As you've seen and heard this evening, your thoughtful and kind-hearted support changes lives. The celebration of scholarship is meant to honor our students for their fine achievements, but it is also meant to celebrate you, our liberal arts family. With the support that the School of Liberal Arts gave me, I was able to enroll in some memberships, pay some extra fees, and overall get the most out of the college experience. Hi, my name is Dyra Sanchez. I'm a medical humanities student. Thank you so much for my scholarship. I plan on using it to apply to grad school. Thank you, Coach Crenshaw, for this scholarship. I'm incredibly grateful, and I hope to use the money that I received to further my dream of becoming a healthcare lawyer. With my scholarship, I plan on pursuing an internship with the Indiana State Museum, where I will be working with their development department to learn about fundraising in a museum context. Thank you so much for my scholarship. I plan on studying abroad this summer in England. My name is Shelby Riley. I'm a Museum Studies master student. Hi, my name is Sarah Suleiman, and I received the IEPY Mohammed Shafi Memorial Scholarship. And because of this, I get to pay off my school bills. I received the Sam Maserakia Scholarship, and with this scholarship, I plan to continue advocating for the undocumented community. With the support that the School of Liberal Arts give me, I will be able to pay for my tuition next semester and as well as working less to focus on my studies. My name is Lauren White and because I received this award, I get to go to Madrid, Spain in the fall of 2022 for my study abroad experience. Hi, my name is Shannon Kutsai and I'm majoring in creative writing and with the support given to me by my scholarships, I am able to pursue uh, my future in editing for a publishing house. Thank you for scholarships. Thank you for the Sam Maserati scholarship. Thank you for my study abroad experience. Learning another language. Aprendiendo otra idioma. Helping me earn a degree. Making lifelong friends. Giving me hope. Contributing to my tuition. Opening opportunities for me. So many opportunities. Thank you for my scholarship. Thank you. 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 Thank, Thank you. you. Thanks to those who have contributed so much to our student success. To all of our guests, thank you and congratulations. We appreciate that you've taken time this evening to be with us for the celebration of scholarship. 